Oh, hi, this is Lynn. And this is Paul. And we are? Along the way. Glad to have you with us. So today we're looking at getting a little more personal. Yeah, how, how do you keep a marriage happy while ministering? Well, I'm happy uh, now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and there's been moments when <laughs> when it's been less than happy. Yeah, that's that's true. But moments. Yeah. Not not As with long. Any marriage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any marriage has ups and downs. Yeah. yeah. Um, the, I think the thing that makes it more difficult in a marriage and ministry is all the demands that other people have on you. So maybe we can start here. Let me ask you, uh, think back early on, mm. when you were first getting started in ministry, on um, what was hardest for you? Well, that was hard because you were going to school full-time, ministering part-time, plus working on the side, plus father of three kids so there was very little time and left husband of one wife and yes <laughs> uh, but there was very little time for you and me mm -hmm. and um, I think I always go back to uh, when we were in seminary and that initial uh, conversation with the students at Asbury and um, how they they talked about needing that day of rest, mm -hmm. needing that time, and and carving that out. Right, and and we did talk about that in a previous video, but that you know that's a challenge. I mean, just to especially to establish it in the beginning, and to stick to it when time gets really really tight. Um, yeah. So. Uh, yeah, I mean, right now we're going through a season of we're looking at probably three weeks mm -hmm. with you not being able to have a, a full day off. Yeah. Uh, and, and in that, trying to take advantage of a time off where, where we can. Mm -hmm. But I think partly what makes that doable now, in, in at least in a better way than in the beginning, is that we both know that, uh, we both know the demand is, is real. And we both know that it's not our ideal to to be working when ideally we'd be off. And this is temporary. It is temporary. Yeah. Uh, so we help each other uh, navigate that time. Uh, but it was it was important. It was very important um, early on in ministry to establish family time, mm -hmm. our time, mm -hmm. and family time. And teaching our children the difference between family time and our time. Yes, our time as a couple. Yes. Yeah, yeah. that's a really good point because that was also a priority uh, to us. We wanted to make sure the kids knew mom and dad came before they did. Mom and dad will be here when they're out of the house. Uh, and, and so we wanted to prioritize our relationship, not only in terms of time, but even in front of the children. Uh, well, it was an example to them That's on right. how they need to live with their spouses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I, I think, honestly, one of the hardest things for me earliest, earlier on, uh, I know one of the hardest things for me was I wanted to be with my family. But I also wanted to do an excellent job in ministry. And I also wanted to do an excellent job in school. And I wanted to do an excellent job at house painting on the side. I mean, and... I just never felt like there was enough of me to go around. Uh, I never felt like that was something she put on me. I felt that was something uh, I put on me. Um, and learning to to recognize your own limitations, uh, to recognize your uh, your need to to balance and prioritize. Um, that that was that's just a hard lesson to learn. But I think we were both really intentional about it. Mm -hmm. uh, and we, and you know what? We talked about it. And I think where we see a lot of uh, couples struggle is 
they, they keep this concern to themselves because they don't want to weigh their partner down or put guilt on their partner. We talk about everything. Yes, we do. Always have. And, and if one of us wasn't right there ready to talk about it, the other one was insistent. Uh, and and uh, because, because it's important. It's yeah. critical. Yeah. yeah. I think we'll leave with that tip yeah. mm -hmm. about, you know, putting your spouse important, number one importance, mm -hmm. and talk with them. Talk with each other all the time. So, yeah. yeah. Hope this is helpful. Uh, and we'd love to talk with you more. We'd love to hear your comments about your experiences in ministry and or uh, marriage and marriage and family and uh, uh, what you've done to work those things out, uh, perhaps what you're struggling with. So I hope you'll put your questions and comments uh, in the space below and hit like and, and subscribe mm -hmm. and we'll see you on down the road. We'll see you along the way.